Hi guys, my name is Imran and uh, today we're going to talk about the WP cases function. So you're going to get the complete series of uh, a lot of WordPress functions uh, that's going to be explained in this series. Okay, so starting with WP cases. Okay, so let's begin then. So if you go to Codex, it says uh, WP cases uh, and it accepts the first parameter as a string and second parameter as the allowed HTML. The third one is the allowed protocol. So what does it do? It actually filters the content and keeps only allowed HTML elements. Okay, so this is used basically for security purposes and to filter the HTML content that we pass it to. Okay, uh, this function makes sure that makes sure that uh, only allowed HTML elements, names, uh, element names, attribute names, attribute values, plus only same HTML entities will occur in string. So this is the string that you're going to pass. And you have to remove any slashes from the PHP's magic codes before you call this function. The default allowed protocols are HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, Melito, News, IRC, Gopher, NNTP, Feed, Telnet, MMS, RDSP, and SPN. This covers all common link protocols except for JavaScript, which should not be allowed for untrust users. So the first parameter is string. So this is the content to filter. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an example so that it's clear to you. Okay, so this is basically my functions.php of my theme. And uh, I've taken two variables. The first variable <coughs> contains the site logo, which is the link, uh, which is the A tag, which HRF uh, address to my site. And then you have the image source as well inside of the a tag okay and the second parameter is an array uh, which contains different parameters first parameter is a uh, which has the array of different tags and then the image uh, property which has the value as array of different properties and values okay and i'm going to go ahead and print the uh, wp cases uh, function and i'm going to pass these two parameters the first is the string basically and this is the string which is the HTML content that I'm passing okay and the second parameter is your allowed HTML so list of allowed HTML which means <clears throat> that this is my list of the allowed HTML in the a tag I should only have hrf class rel and item prop and in the image tag I should only have width height source class and alt I should not have any other uh, you know uh, any other properties uh, within these tags uh, basically attributes okay right uh, this is optional allowed protocols in links uh, so I'm not defined that into my function I'm not passed in that as parameter okay so I'm gonna print that and let's see what we get so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and go onto my site and refresh the page and sure enough we can see that we've got this image and if you go ahead and check the page source So this is basically a pre-tag under which with the class of 786 that, that we have, uh, you know, echoed out there. And this is basically the a tag, which is what we passed as the string. A tag uh, inside of it, we have the image tag. So this is the a tag inside of which we have the image tag. And this is what is being printed. And if you click on it, it's going to take it to my site. Yep. So that's secondary. Okay, so basically this is printing it. But uh, the thing is that... Uh, the elements inside of it, the attribute inside of it is all, are going to be only from within these parameters within these uh, you know values okay so that's what the cases do you know uh, it checks it should be the list of the allowed html elements okay so the allowed html elements are these uh, so let's say if i go ahead and you know find some unwanted uh, attribute over here let's say call you know and see what happens does it get printed out so let's go ahead and check refresh the page and sure enough we don't have that right in the a tag we have defined this uh, additional um, attribute and I don't we don't see that there we find that because it's not going to accept it right okay so it's only going to accept these elements HTML elements okay brilliant so that's all about it for this function this function is generally used to display your, uh, you know, site logo. Um, so, for example, there is this function uh, which is called our site branding, and then we have the site title, 
uh, is equal to site logo which is blank site logo is equal to get custom logo get custom logo basically returns the custom logo link to the home page okay and this is the argument that we are passing inside of it okay and we are echoing out the WP kisses the site logo which is equal to the uh, a tag uh, inside of which you have the image tag and then this is the list of the HTML element that we're passing to it and it's going to return the uh, filtered content okay so we're gonna go ahead and get the filtered content only with the with only the allowed HTML elements out of these okay so that's how basically it is used if you have any questions you can leave the comment and you can watch the rest of the videos if you want to know more about the other functions of WordPress. Okay, take care guys. If you like the channel, please subscribe and please share. Take care. Bye-bye.